I want to talk to you quickly about banks that give uh, loans easily this year. So here are your friendly lenders. First, I want to share with you a U.S. bank. So U.S. bank does a great job in terms of uh, being a, a, a lender friendly, a, a friendly lender. Okay. So the minimum you're going to have in terms of FICO score when it comes to uh, with a U.S. bank is 575, 575 to 600. And we've seen uh, from multiple, uh, multiple reports that U.S. bank is willing to work with you as long as you have an account with them in good standing. So your account has to be in good standing. So if you have a bad credit, if you have bad credit, you better have an account in good standing with uh, with US Bank. No instances of uh, overdraft, no no sort of shenanigans around your account. So your account has to be, has to be in good standing. So 575 to a 600, that's the minimum. And uh, US Bank is a really, really uh, a user-friendly uh, bank, okay? So in terms of the loan itself, you are looking at the loan amounts that go from uh, one thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars so that that's a pretty good pretty good interval really one thousand to fifty grand okay and you have an apr that goes from a, an apr that goes from eight percent all the way to 25 percent. okay obviously a u.s bank is is a little geo restricted in the sense that it's not as uh, big as chase or uh, wells fargo or citibank or uh, bank of america but so but, but you know what u.s bank is what i call a mid-tier bank okay so they are present in about 25 to 30 uh, states that's still good anyway okay and you have the possibility like i said you have possibility to get a maximum of fifty thousand dollars so if you are a u.s bank customer the maximum you can get is uh fifty thousand dollars if you're not you can get a maximum of twenty five thousand i mean if you are thinking about getting all the banks i'm talking to you into this conversation if you are if you want to get a loan from them it's just better if you are a current customer that's how you can actually get a, a larger loan, okay? And just make sure that the account that you have with them is in good standing. You know, like, you know, no quite no question. And uh, you can actually apply for a U.S. bank loan online. There is no uh, pre-qual, though. There is no soft pull. So when you apply, they will do a hard pull right away. So be ready before you before you apply, okay? But, but the cool thing is that you have a 0%, a 0, 0. Uh, 0. Uh, five percent auto pay discount so that's that's really something if you are looking for banks that give loans easily this year i want you to think about td bank so td bank is, is a pretty good bank also that i love very very much i mean td bank is kind of similar to uh u.s bank in the sense that you have a geo restriction uh sort of uh process so td bank is more around the northeast and also somewhere in Florida, okay. So, but TD Bank is not is is in uh, in fewer states than uh, U.S. Bank. But TD Bank is a really is a really good bank, okay. And you're looking at uh, with TD Bank, you got to have a minimum uh, FICO score of a uh, 580, 580, 580. Sometimes they will they will accept 590, 595. But 580 is a good minimum if you want to really get in uh, TD. If you want to get a loan with them. Now, in in terms of the loan itself. You are looking at two thousand to or fifty thousand dollars, so you can see that uh, TD Bank has a, a slightly higher minimum loan amount than uh, US Bank. I mean, US Bank had a one thousand to or fifty thousand, and TD will take care of you from two thousand all the way to fifty grand. And the APR goes from uh, nine percent to a twenty-four percent, so it's still good anyway. It's it's still a good thing to have, and uh, so and TD Bank wants you to be a, a customer of theirs. And uh, so if you are a customer for three for three months minimum, you can apply for this loan. No problem. OK, TD Bank gives uh, gives the loan very easily. And uh, but again, the only problem it's not a problem per se, but it is uh, actually uh, it's a limitation. So that's the geo restriction aspect of things. OK, so TD Bank actually uh, is in uh, 15 states and the District of Columbia, whereas uh, U.S. Bank is in 26 states. TD is in 15 states. So they are in Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Vermont, Virginia, and the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. So this is uh, really, you just have to make sure that you are actually, uh, you are in those geographies to actually qualify, okay? And the cool thing is you are able to uh, go through a soft pool process something you can't do with the uh, U.S. Bank. So with TD Bank, you have the possibility to check personalized rates with no impact on your credit before applying for real. 
for a personal loan through uh, TD Bank. If you are thinking about banks that give loans easily, I want you to think about Discover. Now, Discover actually is pretty known for its credit cards, that's for sure. But Discover actually is a quasi-online bank. So if Discover doesn't have uh, the, the brick and mortar branches that you have with Chase, with Bank of America, with, uh, with uh, TD Bank, with US Bank, with Capital One, with uh, all those other players. But Discover is, is pretty strong when it comes to uh, giving you uh, good rates, okay? Discover will consider you if you have a 600 minimum in FICO score. And Discover actually will give you a loan amounts that go from uh, $2,500 to uh, $40,000. So this is a pretty good chunk anyway. I mean, you know, US Bank is giving you uh, 1,000 to 50 grand. TD Bank is giving you a 2,000 to 50 grand. Discover is giving you a 2,500 to 40 grand. It's still good anyway. So you have the possibility to get a large loan amount. Discover doesn't have a, a, a requirement for you to be a, a customer before they consider you, but it always helps. It always helps if you have, let's say, a, a checking accounts with Discover or you have a savings account with them before actually applying for a loan. So before you apply for a personal loan, just make sure that you have some kind of a relationship with Discover, okay? Or, or you know, even better, maybe you have a, a credit card relationship with them. In other words, you are a current card holder. Of course, just make sure that you are in good standing to actually beef up your chances of being of, uh, of being approved, okay? And uh, so Discover really remains one of the top online banks in the industry. So an online bank that also offers uh, customers credit cards, retirement solutions, and personal loans in all 50 states. So with Discover, you don't have the geo the geo restriction problem because they are an online bank. So they are basically uh, available in all 50 states. This is good. This is good. So as the lending platform, Discover stands out because of uh, its online application and mobile banking tools, well-reviewed customer support team, and a quick funding. And also with Discover, you have the possibility to have a, a soft pool process. So you can have uh, you can actually actually pre-qualify. Also, the loans are available from uh, twenty five hundred to a uh, forty grand, and may be issued for between three and seven years. So, three and seven years, really fantastic. If you are looking for banks that gives that they give uh, loans easily, I want you to consider this year Wells Fargo, and Wells Fargo will actually will consider you uh, if you have a minimum FICO score of uh, six hundred. And uh, also, have you have been a, a a customer for one month at least? The cool thing about uh, Wells Fargo is that Wells Fargo is the only bank, and I repeat, is the only traditional bank that gives you a loan amount that goes all the way to one hundred thousand dollars. I mean, can you imagine that? When it comes to a loan that go all the way to one hundred thousand dollars, there are three three prominent lenders that give that lo that loan amount. You have Lightstream, a unit of uh, of Trist. You have SoFi, and then you have uh, Wells Fargo. Okay, so one hundred thousand dollars. That's really fantastic. So Wells Fargo wants you to really have to apply for a loan with a minimum loan amount of three thousand and a maximum loan amount of uh, one hundred thousand dollars. And also you have a a pretty uh, extended repayment window. So you will, are looking at twelve months all the way to eighty four months. So you're looking at one year. All the way to seven years so that's really good so while longer term uh, lengths this is really to, you have to really understand that basically uh wells fargo wants you to have a relationship with them okay one one month and you got to have actually uh like uh a pretty good a pretty decent income uh, income uh income option too okay and wells fargo actually uh is able to uh take care of you regardless of uh the uh the state you're in now with with, with Wells Fargo, you have a quasi coverage of the entire states. There are a few states where the where the bank is not present. So if you are in Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Ohio, Oklahoma, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Missouri, New Hampshire, Vermont, or West Virginia, you're not going to actually find a, find a possibility to have a, a brick and mortar branch there. But you can still you can still qualify. If you have an online bank account with them, okay, and with with uh, Wells Fargo, you can have the option to pre-qualify. Although that that option is not always present, it really is present depending on the geography where you are at. So 
it's one of those things where you have to, you have to think twice before you uh, before you apply. If you're looking for banks that gave uh, loans uh, easily this year, I want you to think about PNC. So PNC PNC is a great uh, is a great institution, especially if you want to get your cash real fast. This is really good. Now PNC will give you the loan real fast if you let's say uh, have a current a current relationship with them. So they, they love they love it when you have a relationship with them. The minimum FICO score they'll look at is six ten, six ten, and uh, basically uh, you are looking at one thousand to thirty five thousand. So PNC is a uh, a little a little less let's say generous than uh, U.S. Bank or TD Bank or even Wells Fargo for the for that matter. So this is what it is. So PNC Bank actually, uh, the, the loan actually uh, is uh, unsecured. That's really great. And you have an APR that goes from uh, 7% to uh, 30%. Okay, so now the rates may vary by zip code and by your uh, FICO score also. So something to really remember here. And one thing I want to say also is that uh, you have the possibility to actually uh, adjust, adjust the kind of loan that you have, the package you have. Now, of course. PNC Bank is uh, also geo restricted, sort of sort of similar to a US Bank or TZ Bank. Okay, so just be aware of that. So, but before you apply, just make sure before you apply for a checking account or savings account in the first place, just make sure that you are in a geography covered by US Bank. Okay, but the cool thing is overall, when you think about US Bank, um, sorry, not US Bank, PNC. When you think about P PNC. Remember that you have a bank that offers a competitive rates, has no origination fees. That's really cool. Offers a auto pay a rate discounts. Really fantastic. On the flip side, when you think about PNC, they do not clearly share eligibility requirements. Even though uh, we were able to do some research and ask some of our current clients, and they told us about the the, the FICO score, but they do not really talk about income uh, requirements. For instance. And, and loan amounts are low compared to other lenders too. Because can you imagine, Wells Fargo is giving you a, a maximum of $100,000 and uh, PNC Bank is giving you uh, nearly uh, one third less. So that's really a, a big hit, okay? And, uh, but the cool thing is you are able to uh, to apply with uh, with a co-borrower. So that's really good. You are able to, uh, if, you, if your FICO score is too low, you can have a co-borrower to increase your chances of, uh, of qualifying. If you're looking for banks that give loans easily this year, I want you to think about Citi. And Citi is, is uh, the second big bank besides uh, Wells Fargo that gives uh, lo loans easily. And when you think about Citi, now Citi is not as uh, as generous as uh, Wells Fargo because Citi actually just gives you uh, loans from two thousand to thirty thousand, and uh, the APR range go from uh, the APR range is like eleven percent to a twenty percent. So this is what it is. And uh, the the minimum credit score is a 650 all the way to 800. So this is uh, a little higher than the other banks. But hey, listen, if uh, you, you actually have uh, the right FICO score, you can qualify. Now, Citi, the problem with Citi is that Citi actually, uh, it takes longer for Citi's uh, loan loan processes to be approved. The underwriting process is, re is really, really slow. So even though there are no origination application or prepayment uh, penalties, Although there are, although uh, there are flexible repayment terms, although funds may be sent within one business day in some cases, really you have to really remember that Citi has APR that are high. Okay, competitors have lower interest rates, and the loan amount limits is lower than other lenders. Think about it, thirty thousand dollars, whereas uh, Wells Fargo is giving you a uh, one hundred thousand dollars. City is only giving you a thirty thousand dollars. That, that's really a bummer. Okay, it's really a bummer. But the cool thing is that on the flip side, City has no geo restriction issue, so you are able to qualify for a loan regardless of, of uh, where you are at. Okay, so you have that sort of a uh, flexibility to really uh, fall back on. And one thing I want to say also is that with City, it's just a lot better to go to a branch if you can. To go to a branch to apply there there is no uh, pre-qual process available on the site and if you go through the uh, through uh, their web portal to apply for a personal loan the process is, is a little convoluted 
So it's just a lot easier to, uh, to go in person to a branch and apply there. If, if you are sure that you want to apply with, uh, you want to apply for a Citibank personal loan. And also what I want to say is that, uh, when you think about Citibank, you have to remember that, uh, this is a national bank. So the, the whole process may be a little slow. So city may not be uh, as fast as, uh, other uh, more nimble regional banks such as TD, PNC, or US Bank. So I just gave you uh, the top six banks that gave uh, loans easily this year. So here are the facts before we close to this conversation. It's important to really have a few hacks in mind when you are thinking about comparing and contrasting personal loans from banks, okay? If you are on the hunt for a personal loan, it, it could be a great idea to inquire to inquire at your current bank, especially if it offers any perks for existing customers. So shopping around for a few additional loan offers, however, can help you find a personal loan with the best rates and terms. Okay, so think about uh, if you want to really uh, compare and contrast personal loans from banks, you want to look at the interest rates, you want to look at fees. I mean, that's really important. You want to really uh, look at the repayment terms also, what kind of repayment windows, like, you know, how many years they're giving you to actually repay the loan. You want to look at loan amounts. You want to also look at the time to fund. So you do not want to stay on the phone like, uh, or even sit on your ass and just wait like uh, months for the loan to, for a loan to be approved. You want the, you want the funds real, real fast. Okay. Also ask yourself or, or ask the bank for that matter, if uh, there are restrictions on loan use, so maybe uh, they are telling you you can't use the loan for so and so. Uh, you, you can't use the loan proceeds for so and so uh, purposes. So be very careful there. And last but not the least, you want to pay attention to customer support uh, options. Okay, I mean the the good thing is that all the six banks that I have listed here, they have a uh, give or take good customer service with uh, Discover be, uh, being a, a very very wonderful one. So you got to really ask yourself which one should you go for. I mean, the larger the bank, the the less likely they do have a, a great customer service. Like Wells Fargo and Citi, they are pretty uh, notorious for their uh, less than decent sort of customer service. But hey, listen, the bottom line is you got to really ask yourself which one works for you. And uh, maybe you also want to ask yourself, should you go with a bank, with a traditional bank, or go with an online bank? You know, you, would you maybe you, you will find your luck better with an online bank. So... Maybe SoFi, you know, you have a uh, Blue Vine, you have Upstart, you have Upgrade, you have all those uh, neo bank, neo banks, online banks, fintech, fintech platform, Lending Club, okay, so or Lending Point, those are online banks. So you gotta really ask yourself, what works for you? So the bottom line here is, is that today in today's conversation, I share with you uh, banks that give loans easily. I give you the friendly lenders, the facts, and now the bottom line. So the friendly lenders include U.S. Bank, TD Bank, Discover, Wells Fargo, PNC Bank, and Citi. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.